Welcome to Film in 5D, the show with lessons on everything film and the 5D Mark II. I'm your host, Aaron Hammock. Nice this to week, meet you, Aaron. Nice to meet you. This week, we address color correction. With the increasing availability of professional grade products and their consistent decrease in price, independent filmmakers like myself can make quality work at minimal expense. Now, more than ever, with the Canon 5D Mark II, even you can make professional quality films. However, filmmaking isn't easy, but hey, let's figure it out. On the show, we'll be covering everything DSLR video has to offer, as well as all of the bases from pre to post production. This show will also be featuring an array of short films and skits, all shot in the Canon 5D. So get your glasses on, because this is Film in 5D. At this point, we've covered many aspects of HDSLR video, and for some of you it might have been pretty intimidating. The same is true for color correction, an essential aspect of your post-production workflow. However, for once, something is actually made easy by our DSLRs. Using the flat image settings I gave you in this episode, and the cine style preset I gave you in this episode... Wait, 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 wait. What are you pointing at? I'm pointing at the little links to our episodes. We've got a bunch of episodes now. Just point the links. People can click on them. If you haven't seen them, click on them. So if you use these two things, Color correction is really easy. The whole process becomes even easier if you have magic bullet looks, which has been extremely useful to us considering we're shooting, editing, scoring, and uploading all in the same week. You can find magic bullet looks here. It's not free, but it really helps with the entire grading process. Since I know some of you can't get a hold of this plugin, I'll also be showing you my favorite tools and after effects that can considerably boost the final look of your shots. But before we get to all this, we're really excited to show you our brand new segment. How excited? Really excited. Yeah. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us, even now in this very room. You can see it when you look outside, or even when you watch YouTube videos. You can feel it anywhere. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Unfortunately, nobody can be told what the Matrix is. You must see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no more turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends, you wake up, and you believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Can I get a green pill? It's my favorite color. You take the blue pill. I get it. I'm just asking, can I get a green one? You take the red pill. Go down the rabbit hole. Look man, I get it. And enough with Alice in Wonderland references. I freaking hated that movie. Which version? Which version do you hate? Both. Besides, I hate Johnny Depp. I'm through with this guy. The one, my ass. As you can see, every once in a while we will attempt to emulate iconic scenes in popular movies, showing you how the Canon 5D can stand up to cameras that are ten times the price and without the multi-million dollar budget. So if you have any movies you'd like to see us emulate, we're happy to consider your favorite films. Just leave your suggestions in the comment section below. And now we're going to go over to my computer and I'm going to show you some of my favorite color correction techniques. Wow, you're so gracious, dude. I am very gracious. Just trying to give back. Alright, grab all my stuff. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, man. Before we dive in, there are several key things to consider before you start grading an image. First, is white actually the color white? Well, if you watch this episode, then you're already good to go. Second, did you get a good exposure for your shot? It's going to be hard to adjust your image if your blacks are already crushed or your whites clipped. And finally, did you shoot with a flat image setting? If you did, you're going to have a lot more dynamic range to work with. Remember, 
It's not the point of the show to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial and force you to watch my computer monitor for the next 20 minutes. Instead, I'll be addressing some key aspects of color correction and hopefully you'll be driven to go try it for yourself. All right, here we are in Adobe After Effects. You can see we're working with the matrix footage right here. Um, and when, when color correcting, especially for something like this, I like to use an adjustment layer and I can put the same color correction over all the shots with just one look. And you can see it without the look and with the look and you can see a huge difference right there. And th there's just my remove grain that I was using. I'll turn that off for now. So we're gonna open up Magic Bullet Looks and we have a lot of things to look at here. There's about a hundred preset looks and they're all pretty good. They, just put them right up on the top of your DSLR footage and it works pretty good. And there's a matrix one called the Neo. So we're going to use that one. It looks okay. Um, here's the color spectrum. You know, we want to keep this above 0.1 and below 0.9. But we're going to go really high contrast, so some of those colors are going to go really low. Um, we're going to add a curve in post. You drag it into the post section. We're going to do a standard S curve and there's the shadows. And then we're going to raise the highlights. and. Uh, you can do all these um, in individual colors, red, green, and blue. The master works pretty well with the S-curve. You can try out some things. I'm going to raise the midtones a little bit. And we'll see it um, without the curve and with the curves. And you can see a huge difference in the contrast, really high contrast. And um, there's lots of presets. You know, the Blockbuster one, you just drag it on there. And it looks pretty good right out of the box, which is, which is really a good thing about the flat image setting that you can get with your DSLR. So we're gonna isolate this uh, first shot here, and we're gonna we're gonna try to do the same thing with just After Effects because I know a lot of you can't get your hands on Magic Bullet looks. So we're gonna we're gonna do curves again, and in After Effects I like to use two curves. It I think it really helps to give me control over the contrast, and I, I do the the shadows in one, and I do the highlights in the other, and you can mess with the mid tones too. Here I'm just doing it real fast and you can see a huge difference already in the shadows and uh, yeah it looks pretty good next we're going to go uh, brightness and contrast and the rule of thumb is you want to keep your brightness between uh, 0 and negative 10 if you go over 0 you're going to start blowing stuff out but 0 and negative 10 for this shot we're going to do um, 5 mm, negative 3 looks pretty good actually and then uh, for the contrast it's the opposite you want to keep it between 0 and 10 if you go below it's going to be the opposite effect, blowing stuff out again. But 0 and 10, maybe um, right around 3 looks okay. And let's push up a little bit, 5 is fine. And you can see a big difference already right there. And then the third thing we're going to do is we're going to do hue and saturation. There's a bunch of things you can do with the hue over here, but we're just going to mask with the saturation. Um, you want to keep it between negative 5 and 5 for general purposes, but you can push it way up for a warmer tone, you know, depending on what feeling you're going for. But for right now, we're going to go for the film look because we're trying to do a matrix. So we're going to put it between negative 20 and negative 30. That's what I like to do. So negative 25 looks pretty good. See a big difference, you know, you get to get that film look. And, uh, okay, the next one we're going to do is uh, the levels, and this is where we're going to start fixing stuff. You can see the blacks over here are already crushed because of the high contrast that we did. So that's fine, you know, we're not going to be able to recover the, that information. But over here, you can see a lot of, nothing's really living above 80%. So we're going to split the gap right here. We're going to we're gonna go right in between the start of that crest and the edge. And we're going to do the same thing for the midtones too. Um, in between those two spikes right there, we're going to put it right in between there, find a good spot, and then it should be looking pretty good. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to color balance. And a lot of uh, other programs like Final Cut and Premiere and Magic Bullet Looks have color wheels that make it really visual and you can isolate certain colors. Like this one only has red, green, blue, but it works the same. You can't really get shy in, but we're going to go. And here you can see a lot of orange, but there's no orange, but we're gonna, we know red's pretty close. So we're going to take away the red a little bit. and. Then we're going to go in the opposite direction, which would be Cheyenne, but in this case it's blue. So we're going to go over there and we're going to, we're going to just, you know, make it so that the orange isn't just dominating the shot like it was before. You can see right there, huge difference. And then, um, you see all these things together. And that's what it was like before with the flat image. And wow, big difference. Now, 
Um, and the magic bullet looks, there's a little bit of green, which you can do some things with that. We'll actually uh, do a little bit with the gamma to just give a little bit of that green tint. You can always tint the um, highlights green and stuff to make it a little more close. But right there, it's looking pretty good just with After Effects. And that only took five minutes. And wow, big difference. And that's it for this week. Like I said before, if you have any suggestions for movies you'd like to see us try on the show, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you'd like, you can follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com forward slash Aaron Hammock. And we'll be back next week to show you our green screen techniques. Wait, uh, what about my Twitter, dude? What about your Twitter? I have two followers. How many do you have? I get no respect. You have more than five. You have like 50. No. Don't follow Colton. Follow me. And then no, follow sir, Colton. Sir, he is Cut. Cut. We're done here. Speed. It's like a little assembly line. <laughs> Scene 1F. Take 2. Two. Isn't it? Yeah.